If you spend any time developing things for the web, sooner or later you're going to run into the term LAMP server or LAMP stack. To understand what a LAMP stack is, first you have to understand what a stack is. Um, most computing systems are developed in layers of abstraction. So, for example, when you write a program, you don't want to go and start from the very scratch every time and say, here's how you put a pixel on the screen, or here's how you write a single bit to a memory bank. You don't want to do that. So, um, software is generally developed in layers. Um, this is a, a picture of the, uh, the layers of the internet. So at the very basic physical link, there are a set of protocols. And then there are protocols that allow you to locate the hardware devices and protocols that allow you to send packets from um, one piece to another. And then some protocols we've talked about, like HTTP, that allow for the web to work. Then on top of that stack are our websites that we're building or our web applications that we're building. All of this is built on these kinds of broader and broader abstractions that rely on the stack beneath them, to rely, rely on the layers beneath them. Um, the web is, uh, uh, any web server is built on its own stack. Um, at the base of this is an operating system. There's usually a uh, database system, a web server software, that is the software that takes requests and then delivers the web pages, and then usually an application programming language. In a LAMP server, um, the reason it's called LAMP is because these are the pieces that are used to fill in those slots. Linux for the operating system. Um, many people don't think about operating systems, but it's an essential part of any computer. It usually comes delivered with your Apple or your PC, either Windows or, or, or an Apple operating system. But you do have a choice in what you use, and so a lot of people put Linux on their on their machines that they're des designating to be a web server. Um, Apache, to again, is the, the is one of a number of choices you have in terms of um, web server software. Um, it's the, the piece of software that listens for requests and delivers it. MySQL is one of a number of uh, open source uh, uh, database technologies that allows you to store data in a database and pull it into an application. And PHP is the most popular of a number of uh, application programming languages that go on to the web server. Uh, PHP is, uh, as I said, probably the most popular today. Historically, Perl, another P, was, was very popular. Um, these days, Python is also very popular. So is Rails, which kind of messes up our LAMP thing. Um, but that's kind of what makes up a LAMP server. Again, there are other stacks for other kinds of servers. This is a dated uh, picture, so you might not have these particular pieces. But for example, Microsoft has its own stack of software. Um, if you wanted to install LAMP on a, on a, I mean, if you want to create a LAMP server by installing each of these pieces, it's fairly straightforward to do. Um, if you wanted to kind of, if you already have Linux installed, then you can kind of build out the LAMP pieces and have it become a web server pretty easily. If you have a laptop and you want to create an environment on your laptop that actually turns it into a local server, that way you could run web applications on it, for example, you can download um, a, a stack um, from Bitnami that comes as kind of a package. And this allows you to run uh, the Apache server and run uh, My a MySQL server and um, have PHP working on your Windows device or on your like your laptop or on your uh, Mac laptop, for example. And it allows you to do all that de development. Again, you probably aren't going to get requests from the outside. It's not designed to be a real live server. But if you're developing an application, it's often helpful to do that on your own computer rather than putting it on uh, an actual internet connected server for everyone to see. And so this is one way you can do that. Uh, so there's a quick wrap up of what a LAMP server is.